AV Forums CES 2024 coverage is sponsored by MPB, the largest global platform to buy, sell and trade used photo and video gear. MPB.com is the site to visit. Hello and welcome back to our second video from Samsung's First Look event. It's very, very busy, lots of film crews here, lots of people present to cameras and so on and it's very, very difficult to get in and see the products, but we've shown you the OLEDs for this year, or certainly what Samsung are bringing this year in terms of OLED TVs. So let's move on to QLED, the LCD TV from Samsung. It's been around a long time. Uh, Mini LED, we are talking 8K. So Samsung's still very much pushing the 8K message and uh, certainly doing that with their flagship TV. So this is the QN900D that you're looking at right now. Uh, they're touting it as the thinnest 8K panel currently on the market. Um, not sure if that is the case or not, but it is a really, really nice looking TV. They spent a lot of time with the design. Uh, nice perforated sides that you've seen in previous flagship QLED TVs from Samsung. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very interesting proposition for this year. Uh, there is lots of technology on there. But yeah, QN8AI Gen 3 processor, so this is brand new for 2024, it's in the QLED flagship TV. And they're touting it as a few different things, so it will upscale, and they're talking about upscaling some really awful content and making it look pretty decent on an 8K panel. Um, what we've seen from the demonstrations here, certainly it looks better when you see the demos here, but again, this is manufacturer's demos, so you should take everything on a show floor with a pinch of salt. But it's interesting stuff, so again, upscaling is certainly something that they're pushing there. So is 8K dead? Well, Samsung are the only ones shouting about 8K. Everybody else is still staying with 4K. That's where the content is at the moment. And there certainly is no content when it comes to, uh, or certainly no major film content that's being made in 8K at the moment. And in terms of other content, you can maybe find things on streaming services like YouTube, but it's still very thin on the ground. So is it worthwhile buying an 8K TV right now? That's entirely up to you. Um, but certainly we will get this set in for review when it's available. So this is it, the new QN900D from Samsung. It's their flagship TV for 2024.